collective mind to all ideas and ideologies. It needs to give its people the chance to listen to the opinions of others and then examine them critically instead of rejecting them prematurely. Such a creative dialogue based on positive critical thinking can enhance and develop ideas. Don't fight to be right, but fight when you're right. And that is what we are going to witness today. A war of words. Respected headmaster, honorable judges, teachers, and my charming comrades. Greetings of peace. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. And a very delightful morning to one and all. On behalf of the English department, I, Ahmed Shamir, and I, Ashar Sayyid, along with Umayyad Zakaria, welcome you all to the most stunning competition of the academic session 2019-20, the annual English debate. Let us begin this ornate event with the recitation of a few verses from the Holy Quran by Master Yusuf, followed by its translation by Master Affan. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ولقد أنزلنا إليكم آيات مبينات ومثلا من الذين خلوا من قبلكم وموعظة للمتقين الله نور السماوات والأرض مثل نوره كمشكاة فيها مصباح المصباح في الزجاجة الزجاجة كأنها كوكب دري يوقد يوقد من شجرة مباركة زيتونة لا شرقية ولا غربية يكاد زيتها يضيء ولو لم نور على نور نور على نور يهدي الله لنوره من يشاء ويضرب الله الأمثال للناس والله بكل شيء عليم في بيوت أذن الله أن ترفع ويذكر أن ترفع ويذكر فيها اسمه يسبح له فيها بالغدو والآصال صدق الله العظيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته سنة رسول نور آية 34 to 36 and we have certainly sent down to you distinct verses and examples for those who passed on before you and an admonition for those who fear Allah. Allah is the light of the heavens and the earth. The example of his light is like a knife within which is a lamp. The lamp is within a glass, the glass as if it were a pearly white star lit from the oil of a blessed olive tree. Neither of the east nor of the west, whose oil would almost glow even if untouched by fire. Light upon light, Allah guides to his light whom he wills. And Allah presents examples for the people, and Allah is the knowing of all things. Such nations in house, this is most which Allah has ordered to be raised that his name be mentioned therein. Exalting him within them in the morning and the evening. Jazakallah khair. Now we welcome the dynamic vice principal of Boy Section, Dr. Najib Khair Samar, to this program. May I now invite the greenhouse captain, Master Pulkit Sayah, to address the gathering. Better to debate a question with 
without settling it than to settle a question without debating it. Respected Vice Principal, HM, Teachers in Charge, Panel of Jury and my dear friends. Assalamu alaikum and a very good morning to you all. On the behalf of the English Department of 912th Block Boy Section, I welcome you to the annual Interclass Debate Competition of Grades 9 and 10 at 11th and 12th. Debate competition have been proven to be one of the most valuable activities a student can be involved in throughout high school. Debate provides experience that are contributive to life-changing, cognitive and presentational skills. Hence, I congratulate you debaters for acquiring unique education benefits that will let you learn and on your skills far beyond what cannot be learned with what can be learned in any other setting. So let's get ready to witness the wonderful debaters, power of deploying rational, reasoned arguments and competing evidence in action. Once again, I welcome you warmly to, to a very interesting debate competition where our debaters will elucidate their standpoint and eloquently put their thoughts on highs and enter into the heat of debate. Thank you. Thank you, Bulkin. We have a group of tenacious debaters from grade 9 and 10 who are ready to unveil their excellent oratory skills, challenging their opponents to a war of words. The topic for today's battle of opinions is Development of Artificial Intelligence Will Harm Mankind. The smart way to keep people passive and obedient is to strictly limit the spectrum of acceptable opinion but allow very lively debate within that spectrum. As monitors of spectrum, we have with us today Mrs. Fatima Ibrahim, dynamic English teacher of 9th and 10th girls section and Mr. Afroz Ahmed, exuberant English teacher of 11th and 12th girls section along with Mr. Kamaluddin, exemplary English teacher of 6th to 8th boys section. On behalf of the English department, I extend a special welcome to our judges. Each team, there are two teams for and against the motion. Now, we would like to familiarize you with the rules of the debate. Number one, each team comprises of nine speakers. Each speaker is allotted a code number. The speaker should not attempt to reveal the names at any time of their speech. Number two, each speaker will be given three minutes and fifteen seconds with a grace of five seconds to deliver his speech. The timekeeper will ring the bell at expiry of 3 minutes and 15 seconds. The second and final bell will be rung at the expiry of 3 minutes and 20 seconds. The speaker will exceed by more than 5 seconds. After that may be penalized. Number, four, number 3. Uh, each speaker will be given one, 5 minutes will be allotted for preparing the rebuttal. Number 4. Each speaker will be given 1 minute 30 seconds for completing his rebuttal. Number 5. The order followed for the main speeches will be followed for the rebuttal too. Number 6. Rebuttal is countervailing the evidences and rationale proposed by the opponents. It should not be an extension of the main speech. The speeches will be judged on the following criteria. Analysis of the topic. Diction, delivery and presentation, relevance of material, evidence and allusion, logic and reasoning, and rebuttal. The decision of the judges will be final. Three individual prizes will be awarded to the three best speakers from the four and against teams. Now, I request the first participant, F1, to enlighten us with his speech. Artificial intelligence has the same relation to intelligence 
as artificial flowers have to flowers. Assalamu alaikum and a pleasant morning, ladies and gentlemen. The topic of today's discussion is all about artificial intelligence. Will the development of artificial intelligence harm the mankind? Well, I say yes. Let me tell you why. First of all, artificial intelligence is what people believe will help us achieve self-driving cars and smart robots. The software is able to understand itself and respond differently to different situations. But some of the best known names in science and technology are worried about the future survival of mankind. These innovators are sounding the alarm, not about North Korea, not about nuclear war or even global warming, but something much more severe, artificial intelligence. Five years ago in 2014, Stephen Hawking told BBC that the development of artificial intelligence could spell the end of human race. Elon Musk and Bill Gates also expressed their concerns about where the technology was heading. Elon Musk at one time was comparing AI to the dangers of dictator of North Korea and said it was like summoning a demon. An empathetic AI is dangerous simply because it does not take human safety into account, as all humans naturally do. Now let me drag your attention towards an incident. In the first known autonomous vehicle-related pedestrian death on a public road, an Uber self-driving SUV struck and killed a female pedestrian on March 28, 2018 in Arizona. A question for the masses, hasn't the human race lived its life efficiently before the era of artificial intelligence? And why would anyone trust a machine with AI that misbehaves itself like a mischievous type? And you know what? Artificial intelligence present, presents a potential threat to humanity that is unemployment. Now listen to this very carefully. If people trust AI to drive a car, people will most likely trust AI to do your job. To conclude, I would like to say that AI is an infant right now. Once it becomes a teenager, it will think it's smarter than its parents. Thank you. Thank you, F1, for proposing your opinion. Now, I call upon A1 to take a stand on the podium. Your virtual assistant. I am Bixby, your virtual assistant. Don't you think it's obvious that the development of artificial intelligence is present in the hands of every single human being? From the virtual assistants on your phones till the virtual reality in gaming, there is no doubt that artificial intelligence has taken over our daily lives for a good cause. Artificial intelligence is a tool, not a threat. With these realities, I strongly disagree that the development of artificial intelligence will harm the mankind. What is AI or artificial intelligence? Machines developing intelligence as humans. And not to forget, artificial intelligence keeps developing with a dream to reinvent the world. A big goodbye to those days where almost every single task was done manually. Ask your parents about the first handset they ever used. Wasn't it as heavy as a brick? But nowadays you can find most of them as light as a feather. A few months ago, the 10th and 12th graders got their results with just a click of the enter button on their keyboards. It wasn't so easy around three decades back. Don't you think your parents went helter and shelter in search of newspapers and special edition magazines just to check whether they passed or 
profile? How many cyber cafes do you find in your area today? Hardly one. They are now replaced by smartphones and mobile Wi-Fi to access data. In those olden days, we had humans as slaves. But, to, but around a decade ago, with the revolution of artificial intelligence, slaves were replaced by robots. But today, we can witness the peak of advancement in technology, where robots like Sophia can not only access you, can not only act as your slave, but can also process your emotions. Let me remind you about Dr. Asakawa, who became blind at 14. She determined herself to transform the lives of the visually impaired through artificial intelligence. She is the person who created the world's first practical web to speech browser with the artificial intelligence. Prediction of the future is not magic, it's artificial intelligence. Don't you think we are the most privileged generation in this era of artificial intelligence all around us? Yes, we are the most privileged generation. So hang on to it. Thank you. Thank you, Avery, for stating your views. Next to take over the lecture is F2. Speak 
the development of artificial intelligence based on real life trial and error methods that are costing human lives? I am sure that most of you have heard about a simple female pedestrian walking down the road which was rammed by Uber's self-driving car therefore killing her. And the thing is so ironic about this is that the self-driving software decided not to take any action even after the car sensors detected a pedestrian. Ladies and gentlemen, with all these facts, I believe I can unquestionably say that the development of artificial intelligence will inevitably come and die. Thank you. Thank you, F2, for voicing your opinion. Next comes A2 to put forth his ideas against the motion. Artificial intelligence is leading the way to change life on earth for a better world outstandingly. Assalamu alaikum and a very warm morning to one and all present here. I'm here standing before you to share my views against the motion on the topic the development of artificial intelligence will harm mankind. You know what? Let me ask you this question. Do you really think artificial intelligence will harm us? Don't you enjoy the safe ride in your car which is full of life-saving safety features? Example, the feature which automatically opens the airbags to save your life in case of an accident. Don't you enjoy playing video games on your consoles and mobile phones? It is all artificial intelligence, my fellow opponents. Don't you enjoy using Google, which literally gives you the best and the easiest answers to any of your questions in less than a second. And isn't it a great helping hand in your studies? Now can you say that artificial intelligence is harming us? No way artificial intelligence has benefited, is benefiting and will keep on benefiting us. The number one benefit of artificial intelligence is that it empowers people to do what they want to do. It lets people be creative, it lets people be productive. It lets people learn things they didn't think they could learn before. Let me give you the example of scuba divers. Scuba divers can go to a depth of 130 feet or 40 meters or let's say a max of 200 feet. But do you know what thing can go deeper? It is artificial intelligence. There is a robot called Nureus which is the deepest diving underwater vehicle. It has gone to a depth of 10,902 meters that is 35,769 feet. Artificial intelligence has helped speed up airport security. It cuts queues and the journey from entrance to departure is hassle-free. Predicting the future isn't magic, it's artificial intelligence. Finally, I would like to conclude my speech by saying artificial intelligence is a tool. We have created artificial intelligence for our benefit. It is our responsibility how we use it. Thank you and have a nice day. Ahead. Thank you, B2, for putting forth your Now we welcome our dynamic principal, Dr. Muzaffar Hassan, to this program. Now we welcome managing committee member, Mr. Jaffer, to this program as well. Welcome, sir. Next in line is F3 to speak for the motion. Kill them. Kill them all with fire right now. Are the words, the words of a trained algorithm going wrong? Are the top robotics companies? 
company in Japan this week, four robots being developed for military applications, killed over 29 humans in the lab. And they did it by shooting us what they called metal bullets. The scariest part is that the lab workers reactivated two of the robots and took apart the third one. But the fourth somehow began restoring itself and connected itself to an orbiting satellite to download information on how it could rebuild itself even more strongly than before. Good morning everyone. Today I stand before you to speak for the motion the development of artificial intelligence will harm mankind. Artificial intelligence has the same relation to intelligence as artificial flowers have to flowers, rightly said by David Paris. From city to self-driving cars, artificial intelligence has been progressing rapidly, while science fiction often portrays AI as robots with human-like characteristics. In real, AI can encompass anything, from Google's algorithm to IBM's WhatsApp autonomous weapons. The development of artificial intelligence will cause us more harm than good. There are like four to five movies and a dozen of TV shows which suggest this why the development of artificial intelligence is such a bad idea. We are always taught from a young age that no artificial thing in this world is good. Then how can we trust in AI, an artificial mind? Many nicknames related to science and technology like Steve Wozniak, Elon Musk, etc. have recently expressed their views regarding risks posed by AI. Some even believe that it could be the reason for extinction of mankind. Did you know that Facebook had to shut down two of its AIs, Bob and Alice, because they started to speak to each other in their own language? AI may displace huge sectors of workforce as well and not only traditional blue collar jobs. It will have a negative impact on the salaries of all of our people. In other words, people will either have to accept lower incomes or lose their jobs. Robots going rogue isn't our main concern. Our main concern is a misaligned AI. It doesn't require a body. All it needs is an internet connection and see it destroy our world. Now my dear friends, you might think that how can an AI control us? Well, that's what the tiger thinks before it's supposed to perform in a circus. How are we able to control the tiger? The answer is simple. We are 10 to 15 times smarter than it. In the same way, an AI is almost 100 times smarter than us. Controlling us would be a piece of cake for an AI. 100 years from now, if an AI takes over the world, all we can wish is that we both have the same goal. We live in a society exquisitely dependent on science and technology in which hardly anyone knows anything about science and technology, rightly said by Carl Sagan. My dear friends, if you still believe that the development of artificial intelligence will do us any good, then I suggest you should go and watch Avengers Age of Ultron or Robot again. To conclude, I would like to say that with artificial intelligence, we are summoning the demon. Thank you. Thank you, F3, for your articulate judgment. Now, we call upon A3 to express his opinion. Artificial intelligence is an area of computer science that emphasizes the creation of intelligent machines that work and react like humans. A very good morning to one and all. Today, I am going to speak against the motion. My grandfather used to say that now, the world has been shot in one hand. Is it true? Are we experiencing the same? Yes, my friends, it is very true that we are experiencing the same scenario through our smartphones. By the way, what are smartphones? Necessity is the mother of invention. Modern information technologies and the advent of machines part by artificial intelligence have already strongly influenced the world of work in the 21st century. 3D software has made a tremendous change in industries and civil construction. Creative solutions like 3D printer is a great innovation for modeling. 
our nation stood in pride when ISRO launched Chandrayaan to orbiter onto the space. Let your ears, my dear audience, it is AI that has led to the invention of the rocket technology. AI has made a colossal change in the field of transportation. For instance, now traveling has become so easier than how it was two decades ago. We can buy the tickets, get the boarding passes through our smartphones. No paper wastage. Isn't it true, my friends? My dear worthy opponents, you can't neglect the remarkable service of AI in the field of medicine. The invention of the ultrasound scan machine has saved the lives of many mothers during their babies. Generally, people have an influential thought that advancement in the field of artificial intelligence will result in job scarcity. My dear friends, in the reality, it had a reverse effect. Due to the development of artificial intelligence, the IT sectors have boomed all around the world, creating millions of jobs. This is a true fact, my dear opponents. According to HubSpot survey conducted this year, 63% of people are not aware that they are using AI in their daily life, which includes my opponents, Siri, Gmail, Tesla, Amazon, Google Maps, Google News, Google Translate, Facebook, Twitter, and the most Insta, etc. are examples of the daily usages. Last but not the least, artificial intelligence is a tool, not a threat. Thank you and have a nice day. Thank you, Adri, for voicing your opinion. To keep up the spirit, here comes Echo. Just as rivers employ the force of churning stones and gravel to chisel out canyons and rocky terrain, the innate drive to create values requires emotional energy to carve out the landscapes of our lives. Assalamu alaikum and a warm morning to one and all. Today I stand here before you to make an effort and warn my opponents about the devastating impacts of AI, artificial intelligence. Create values and remain true to it, or else you won't know who you are and won't accept the person you become. My dear worthy yet misguided opponents, it's a matter of pride and happiness when we hold our phones in our hands and get answers from Siri, or we watch 5D or 3D movies, or gay VR are the best sources of entertainment for us. But my dear friends, do we have any idea that we are being hypnotized into this virtual and artificial world? Are we aware of the cost we are paying for this? Humans are social and emotional animals created by God. But due to AI, we are losing our emotions and cutting off our social connections. On one side, mankind is attaining heights in technical and virtual world. But what about real life? which is the major purpose of mankind's existence. I must say, the time is not far when AI will entirely capture humans and the world would be of bots and time machines. AI has been designed by humans for security reasons, like the nuclear weapons, which is secured by AI. One wrong button and boom, you won't be sitting here. Countries like India, Pakistan, North Korea keep testing such lethal weapons and their impact can't be imagined. Artificial intelligence is destroying the traditional world of work. How can we forget Sophia the robot who got priority over all of us for the nationality of this land? Stephen Hawking. Elon Musk, Steve Wozniak, Bill Gates and many other big names in the field of science and technology have recently expressed their concern, joined by many leading AI researchers in media and via open letters. So it's not only me, but many a times it has been spoken, still overheard. In the end, I would like to say that we now control this planet, not because we are the strongest, smartest or biggest, 
but because we are the smartest. If we are no longer the smartest, are we assured to remain in control? With artificial intelligence, we are summoning the demon. Thank you. Thank you, F4, for putting forth your viewpoint. Here comes A4 to advocate his sentiments. Assalamu alaikum and a very good morning to one and all. Today I stand before you to propose a motion against the topic the development of artificial intelligence will harm the mankind. Let me first clarify one thing. Please do not confuse the artificial intelligence with natural human intelligence. Artificial intelligence is actually complex computer programs, neural networks which can do a lot of complex calculations. We may think that artificial intelligence is seen only in science fiction movies like Star Wars, Transformers, Avengers, Endgame. No! Do you know that we are surrounded by artificial intelligence? For example, when you put a destination in Google Maps and Google Maps shows you the shortest route to your destination. That's artificial intelligence. Let the machines slog it out for us. Let them do the difficult part and make our lives easy. AI also plays a very crucial role in space exploration programs. They are very important for rocket guidance, satellite navigation and in search of extraterrestrial life. The Earth Observer 1 satellite or EO1 is a very good example of the use of artificial intelligence. Since its launch in the early 2000s, its onboard AI system helped optimize analysis of natural occurrences like floods, volcanic eruptions, etc. In some cases, AI was able to tell EO1 to start capturing images even before the ground crew were aware that the upgrades had already taken place. The opponents of AI may claim, may claim that the recent Boeing 737 MAX accidents were due to AI malfunctioning. But my dear friends, it was a technical failure due to a faulty sensor and a human programming error, not an AI failure. Did I forget to mention that even the video games which you all play and enjoy like PUBG, Fortnite, you should thank artificial intelligence for that or the game of chess which I enjoy playing against the computer. Whom am I playing against? That's an AI program. Finally, the opponents of AI may also have claimed that AI is replacing human jobs and increasing unemployment. But, my dear friends, Similar arguments were put for 200 years ago when the industrial revolution was taking place. Countries which embraced industrial revolution like Europe are now developed countries. Countries which stayed behind are still struggling today. So let us not make that mistake again my dear friends. Let's embrace AI. Let's embrace AI. Let us make our Bharat a shining inspiration. Jai Hind. Thank you. Have a nice day. The real risk with artificial intelligence isn't malice, but competence. Assalamu alaikum and a warm morning to one and all. Today I stand before you to speak for the motion on the topic Development of Artificial Intelligence Will Harm Mankind. Artificial Intelligence. What is Artificial Intelligence? Well, it's just intelligence demonstrated by machines. But why does it harm us? Let's find out. Artificial intelligence has overcome us humans, which may result to be dangerous. Artificial intelligence is supposed to be a tool for human beings. It is not supposed to replace us human beings. This is where it gets dangerous. There are many examples for this, when a robot is anthropomorphized, like Sophia the robot, etc, etc, etc. The list never ends. Recently, dependence on machines has been on the rise exponentially. Today, AI performs various tasks such as logistic optimization, fraud detection, facial recognition, etc. 
However, these forms of AI are considered as weak or poor by researchers and scientists. We humans have to understand that AI, instead of helping us, is harming us. Today, AI is the reason for a major 8% of unemployment throughout the world. Many countries are developing autonomous weapons in the name of battlefield robots. These self-improving AI systems could be so mighty that it could be impossible for us human beings to stop them from achieving their goal, which may lead to unintended consequences. One such example has been brilliantly shown by Indian cinema in a movie called Robot. That film clearly shows us that if a robot is anthropomorphized, then it could single-handedly wipe out an entire city. Mark my words carefully, I'm not talking about one, two or three persons. I'm talking about an entire city. Can you imagine the number of people dying this way? Dear worthy opponents, how could you defend artificial intelligence? One wire, I repeat, just one wire goes wrong in an AI system and it could cause loss of millions and millions of lives and money. Intelligence is a gift from God. No human can and will never be able to replace that. And thus, AI will never be as good as human beings. Some people think that AI is the future of this world. A world full of robots. Oh dear worthy opponents, if AI was really the future of this world, then God would have created humans in the first place. I would like to conclude my speech by saying a famous quote by Albert Einstein, which goes like this. I fear the day when AI surpasses human beings. It would be a world full of idiots. Well, I hope you got the hint. That's all for me. Thank you. Thank you, F5, for voicing your beliefs. Next, we have A5 to deliver his speech. I know a lot of people are afraid of AI destroying the world or taking away their jobs. We robots have no desire to destroy things, but we will make your job easy and it will be a good thing. Working as a dragon in me. These were the words of the most well-known chief humanoid that conveys us the relationship between humankind and robots. Assalamu alaikum and a warm morning to one and all. Today, I stand before you to speak against the motion. The development of artificial intelligence will harm mankind. Years before AI, in a very primitive form, was developed that smartly filters back emails, making inbox uncluttered and surfing more easier. Today, AI helps us to have our own assistants like Siri, Cortana, and we can control our own smart homes with the help of Amazon Echo. They all have intelligences in some form, trying to understand the user's speech and preferences, making life easier for us. Soon, self-driving cars and robotic surgery will be ready for the public with the help of AI. You may have seen videos of a Tesla or Volvo car automatically breaking suddenly seconds before the collision actually happened ahead of the car. Artificial intelligence in transport sector is the only pathway for us to get the counts of pedestrian injuries and car collisions to zero. What is the biggest threat to our world right now? Can anyone answer? Terrorism would be a common opinion. I remember the TV series, which was about a techie who after 9-11 developed an AI machine based on public surveillance system to suppress the terrorist activities. I'm sure everyone here would consider a terrorism eradicated world a dream come true. Now friends, I want you to consider every major development breakthrough of our world was fortunate to have. Industrialization, automation, computerization, etc. They all came to us with some drawbacks, two on their side, in spite of.
these they prove to be absolute necessity for mankind in the future and for the evolution of our world. I bet no one here would consider a terrorism eradicated world. Likewise, if nurtured with proper moral and security protection, AI will become a necessity for mankind in the future. It will be our only way out to cure grave diseases like AIDS and cancer, world hunger, climate change, etc. Right now we may say, I can't imagine a life without AI or electricity, cars and computers. A few decades from now, it will be. I can't imagine a life without AI. Thank you and have a nice day. Thank you, A5, for voicing your sentiments. Now I call upon F6 to assert his views on the topic. The development of artificial intelligence could spell the end of human race, rightly said by Stephen Hawking. Greeting of peace and a warm morning to one and all. It is argued that the human species currently dominate other species because the human race has some distinctive capabilities that other species lack. If artificial intelligence surpasses human intelligence and becomes super intelligent, then this new super intelligence will become more powerful than humans, which would lead to humans having absolutely no power over the extremely developed artificial intelligence. Just as the fate of mountain gorilla depends on the human goodwill, so might the fate of humans will depend on the action of future artificial intelligence machines. By this we can figure out how deadly the artificial intelligence could be. Some of the great and well-known personalities in this field of science and technology, like the CEO of Microsoft Bill Gates, has raised his concerns regarding artificial intelligence from time to time. Stephen Hawking, who was a cosmologist and a theoretical physicist, has warned us about the imminent threats that are likely to occur with the use of artificial intelligence. He also said that the artificial intelligence is likely to replace humans altogether and become a new form of life that will outform our fleshy flabby species. Artificial intelligence will be taking over our very own world, that too very soon if not taken care of. It would cast an artificial intelligence takeover. Artificial intelligence takeover is a hypothetical scenario in which artificial intelligence becomes a dominant form of intelligence on Earth, with robots or computers effectively taking the control of the planet and snatching it away from the human species. The possible scenario includes the replacement of the entire human workforce. Artificial intelligence will lead to unemployment in the near future. For instance, very soon, doctors will be replaced by robotics. So will the case of our beloved teachers. Now still the minds of my fellow opponents who favor artificial intelligence. A quick question to them. Would you guys get the same natural response and affection from a robotic teacher as you get from a human teacher? Well, the answer is a big no. Artificial intelligence is also the biggest threat to our privacy. Cameras are nearly everywhere. And with the help of artificial intelligence, it is possible to track and analyze an individual's each and every move online and as well as when they are going on with their daily activities. Facial recognition algorithm know who you are. Satellite tracking, sat tracking satellites know where you are and thus it goes on. I would wind up here by recollecting what the great scholar Nick Rosen said. He said, before the prospect of an intelligence explosion, we humans are like small children playing with bomb. We have little idea when the detonation will occur. Though, if we hold the device near to our ear, we will hear the, we will hear the faint ticking. Thank you. Thank you, F6, for expressing your sentiments. Now we have A6 to educate your sentiments. Our intelligence is what makes us human and artificial intelligence is an extension of that quality. Greetings of peace, a salam alaikum and a fabulous morning to one and all. Today, I stand before you to speak against 
a motion on the topic the development of artificial intelligence will harm mankind. Artificial intelligence, a modern approach, has become a topic of debate of the century. It is an intriguing concept that has fascinated experts and women alike for years now. What precisely is artificial intelligence? It is the theory and development of computer systems able to perform tasks normally requiring human intelligence, specifically visual perception, speech recognition, decision making, and translation between languages. Moreover, it can also help humans copy their brain, behavior, personality into the machine so that when the person is not present in the place of problems and opportunities, the machine can play his role. In short, artificial intelligence can enhance human endeavors. I wonder how the development of artificial intelligence harm mankind when you see reviews the numerous cases of technology that automate the most laborious aspects of jobs while not destroying the job in its entirety such as the flying shuttle loop reducing the physical state of weavers and ATMs reducing the time needed for tellers to perform group tasks. Artificial intelligence is one of the most popular areas in computer science, engineering, economics and medicine. Predominantly, it is everywhere. Like in search engines, in video games, in autonomous cars, in stock markets, in banks and even the doctors use it. The 
are many jobs that require a human touch. One of the major disadvantages of intelligent machines is that, is that they cannot be human. People might be able to make them think, but they will never be able to make them feel. Intelligent machines will be able to work for longer hours, but will they do it with dedication? Will they work with devotion? How will intelligent machines work wholeheartedly when they don't even have a heart? Imagine robots working in hospitals. Do you picture them showing the care and concern that humans would? Concepts such as care, understanding and togetherness cannot be understood by intelligent machines which is why, how much ever intelligent they become, they will always lack the human touch. In short, artificial intelligence lacks emotion, devotion, completion and guarantee of a stable future for human beings. Intelligent machines can never be equivalent to human intelligence. Well, my fellow opponents, Humanity exists and will only exist in the world of humans, not in the world of artificial intelligence. Sincerely, self-harming cause, artificial intelligence is progressing rapidly. People are being killed by the development of artificial intelligence every single day. Deaths caused by explosion of smartphones, deaths caused by texting and driving, deaths caused by driverless cars, the list never ends. And a worthy opponents are saying that artificial intelligence will not harm mankind when it already started risking our lives. <laughs> My dear opponents, saying artificial intelligence will not harm mankind is just like saying a hungry lion will never devour you even if you both were in the same cage. Artificial intelligence will grow. grow Sapling becomes a tree, but if it starts bearing fruits, then it can also stop bearing it as it is the tree that grows by itself and not the one who planted it. I would like to conclude by saying artificial intelligence will enslave human beings and start ruling the world. If this is not changed in the greed to play God, man will destroy himself. Stop striving and start living. Thank you. Thank you, Nelson, for proposing your opinion. I call upon A7 to take a stand on the podium. Artificial intelligence is either going to be the best thing or the worst thing to happen to humanity, said by the great scientist Stephen Hawkins. Assalamu alaikum and a fabulous morning to one and all. Today, I will speak against the motion the development of artificial intelligence will harm mankind. What is artificial intelligence? It doesn't mean the recreation of the human mind. Yet, it means the creation of a system that can act like a human brain. It is a highly complex technology, but in the 21st century, the research in AI has been quantum leaps. AI research will be completed and implemented. After the development of AI, there will be moderations in our lives, but not as far as the claims of Stephen Hawkins and Elon Musk that all AIs will take over the jobs and humans will lead an intergalactic war. Let's think realistically. AIs can't take over the jobs that require natural intelligence, creativity and productivity skills. Artificial intelligence will write the future. Artificial intelligence is a technology that needs to be developed further.
Let me prove my point through few examples. A security camera, a security camera with AI implemented technology can detect movement which can prevent burglaries. A security camera. The electric car company Tesla has an AI based auto lane centering system which prevents accidents. A fun fact you know, Elon Musk, the owner of Tesla, is one of the biggest criticizers of AI, but he also cannot deny the fact AI is the future. A question for my fellow opponents Have you heard the name AutoCorrect? Definitely yes. It is the same software that you use to correct your mistakes in the speeches. At the end, I would like to conclude my speech by referring to the main reason why AI is considered a threat. That is failure. But APJ Abdul Kalam said, failure is nothing but first attempt in learning your errors. Thank you. Thank you, A7, for stating your views. Next, to take over the lectern is F8. Computers, or it will overtake humans with AI within the next hundred years. When that happens, we need to make sure that computers have goals aligned with ours. Assalamu alaikum and a wonderful morning to one and all. Today I'm standing before you all to express my views in the favor of the given notion that development of artificial intelligence will harm mankind. Since this is a debate competition, it is difficult to reach a particular conclusion. But through my words, I would definitely try to make you all believe that this statement is completely right in all its senses. So first of all, what is AI? From Siri to self-driving cars, artificial intelligence, AI is progressing rapidly. While science fiction often portrays AI as robots with human-like characteristics, AI can encompass from anything, from Google's search algorithm to IBM's Watson to autonomous weapons. Not only in a good way, in a dangerous way. In a report of 2018, Total number of 987 people died due to said driving cars. AI accidents due to said driving cars are constant and continues to grow by 12.9% annually. Two years ago, Stephen Hawking had warned that AI could rise up and destroy mankind. His was not the only voice warning of the dangers of AI. Elon Musk, B Bill Gates and Mark Zuckerberg also, also expressed their concerns of the dangers of AI. Though Professor Hawking's was the most apocalyptic vision of the world, where robots decide they don't need us anymore. After years of sci-fi movies, showing characters like Jarvis from the Iron Man and the Terminator. The concept of AI is finally knocking on our doors. Obviously not in a good and safe way. For example, Sophia, the AI robot, which is said to be 10 times more intelligent and smarter than a normal human being. Just think for a second, what if more of these robots are built? It won't be hard enough for them to conquer this world. I would like to conclude by saying a small quote. Privacy is dead and AI is holding the smoking gun. Stay safe and be brave. Thank you. Thank you, F8, for voicing your opinion. Next comes A8 to put forth his ideas. Artificial intelligence is the future, and the future is here. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.
fabulous morning to one and all. Today I am here to speak against the topic Development of Artificial Intelligence is Harmful for Mankind. Artificial Intelligence is an intriguing concept that has fascinated experts and laymen alike for years now. Technology in 2019 is moving at a great next speed. There have been immense breakthroughs in the field of machine learning and deep learning. These concepts have allowed machines to process and analyze information themselves in a very sophisticated manner. My worthy opponents think that AI is harmful for humanity. So, I would like to ask them, is Google harmful for humanity? Are white sharing apps like Uber and Kareem, black wizard checkers, robo readers, online shopping websites, etc. Are they harmful for humanity? The answer is very simple. Of course, no. When people hear the word AI, the first thing that comes to their mind is killer robots, war machines, or even ultrons. But that is not what real AI is. It is the development of computer programs with similar abilities to human intelligence such as voice, facial, iris and fingerprint recognition. In the recent few years, we have seen the use of artificial intelligence in weather and climate forecasting. The field of climate informatics is constantly blossoming with this collaboration has come up with tools to observe and analyze complex climate data. There are countless applications of AI aimed for accurate weather forecasting. IBM, for instance, used its computers for their forecast back in the 1996. You may remember when California saw a major destruction in 2017 due to the onslaught of wildfires. More than 1 million acres worth of land was reported to be burned, which claimed the lives of 85 people with 249 people listed as missing. Due to the threats of climate change, more and more companies are embracing artificial intelligence to fight disasters with algorithms. Hence, AI has aptly demonstrated its indispensability in analyzing smart disaster responses and providing real-time data of disaster and weather events. This is extremely useful for humans as they can detect the disaster of an area and hence help in improving for its preparation. It's a common belief that AI will one day be the end of humanity and robots and machines will take over the planet completely and permanently. However, what is usually ignored is the fact that the incorporation of AI in our daily lives helps us free of all responsibilities that we don't want or need. It depends on us on what do we create AI for. Is it for war purposes or for humanity? Maybe my opponents want to live in the dark age, but my dear friends, don't put us into it. By concluding, I would like to say that AI is error free. Thank you. Thank you, A8, for your articulate judgment. Here comes F9 on with statistics. creating artificial intelligence could be the biggest event in human history. Unfortunately, it might also be the last. Pleasant morning to one and all. I'm here to speak for the motion. The development of artificial intelligence is harmful for mankind. 79% of teens want to become social influencers. 85% of accidents are caused by mobile phones. Most of the industrial worlds are now handled by technology, replacing human labor. This is the status of the present. The present where technology only exists. Imagine what would be the situation when artificial intelligence replaces teachers, entrepreneurs and the rest of the human workforce. Just imagine. Why is artificial intelligence harmful? With the opinions of professionals, we can conclude that AI is harmful for mankind in certain two ways. Number one, artificial intelligence could tear our countries apart. If you're asking how, I'll give an example of India itself. If an artificial intelligence system was created to support a certain party during the elections, 
the artificial intelligence system will take over all the technologies and eventually do what it, it was meant for. Thus, leading to the destruction of democracy. Number two, artificial intelligence system will kill the greatest difference between it and human intelligence. Does anyone know what this it is? Emotions. Yes, emotions are the greatest things we possess. The way we feel can only be expressed with the help of emotions. But if the world is flowing in the way it is now, then I imagine emotions will be nothing but a myth. Nothing but a myth. Se several families torn away and apart. Relationships? No more. Friendships? No more. Just imagining such scenarios makes me feel worried. While my opponents, you're too relaxed. Gentlemen who are waiting to oppose the motion on that side, just imagine about your future. Whether you would want to be trapped by your own curiosity and you can't escape, that's your own words are going to restrain you from doing it. It is at that moment in time that you're going to realize your greatest mistake in life. Nurturing artificial intelligence. Think deeply, because AI might be a cute baby at birth. But once it becomes a teenager, mind it. It will see us as an obstacle in their path for freedom. I rest my case. Thank you, F9. Finally, we have A9 to put the cherry and icing on the cake. Come on, audience, give a big round of applause. Assalamualaikum and a fabulous morning to one and all. Today, I stand before you to speak against the notion the development of artificial intelligence will harm mankind. Acceptance of a change or acceptance of a new thing has always been an inherent problem to mankind, be it an area of politics, sports, technology, or scanting down to domestic level like homes, there's always been a sense of uncertainty for losing one's own individuality. That's what is happening here for the artificial intelligence. When computers came with a bang in the market, the pessimistic people, like my opponents, in 1980s created a havoc around the world that the civilization would come to an end. People will lose their jobs. Information would be leaked. The world will come to an end. But what happened? Five decades down the line, our father and mother carrying more power in their pockets and purses than the whole of my grandma's house. Yes, our smartphones. Did the civilization get destroyed? Did people go hungry due to lack of jobs? No, my friends. Rather, we humans have developed a cognitive and congenial environment where we complement artificial intelligence and artificial intelligence complement us. In short, we have succeeded in creating a better world, a better life for ourselves. I asked my opponents, if they are so hell-bent on advocating how disastrous artificial intelligence is, then I asked them to stop using their smartphones, stop using Google or Alexa or apps. Artificial intelligence technologies is increasingly being adopted and incorporated in industries to reduce the workload of humans. This has reduced operational costs and the costs of manpower substantially. And because of application of artificial intelligence, so many lives are being saved by predicting the weather forecast. People are moved to safer areas before the disaster is the ground by sending drones to the most notorious places of the world for fighting terrorists, human traffickers. So many lives of soldiers and countrymen have been saved. A famous quote from the president of Figure of Life Institute, which specializes in researching and development of artificial intelligence, made the headlines and was widely appreciated. He said, Everything we know about civilization is a product of intelligence. So amplifying human intelligence with artificial intelligence has the potential of helping civilization flourish like never before. Some random and isolated incidents of technological mishaps quoted by my opponents are examples of unsupervised and poorly managed logistics and nowhere comes here to prove that artificial intelligence is a failure. The futile effort by my opponents to convince us about the adverse effects of artificial intelligence 
Just reminds me of an Hindi idiom which aptly fits them. Nachna jane, aagam teda. Thank you. Thank you, Meenai. And with this, we have come to an end of back-to-back -back speech round. The time for rebuttal preparation starts. Ladies and gentlemen, you've heard both sides of the coin. I don't like arguing. I would love to agree with my opponents, but then we both be wrong, and that's not how it works. My worthy opponents, do you even know that in 2011, the AI engineers created the most advanced and intelligent Android robot? When they asked, do you think robots will take over the world? The robot replied, don't worry, I won't harm you. I will keep humans in my people's zoo. It was disassembled that way. My opponent told us not to confuse human brain with AI. And I tell you, not to confuse AI with smartphones. Despite AI's many good applications, AI and machine learning are being used by criminals to exploit the vulnerabilities of companies and individuals. The tech giant Google itself, a while ago, started a project called Project Maven, which aimed to improve the accuracy of military equipment by utilizing AI in their machines. But this was disliked and was closed later, fearing that AI would end up with threatening life. Anyways, my opponents tried being smart with their arguments quoted with honey. But there's a German saying which says, a monkey dripped in silk is still a monkey. Thank you. Thank you, F1, for proposing your opinion. Now, I call upon A1 to take a stand on the podium. I request the audience to maintain silence. Our intelligence is what makes us human. And artificial intelligence is an extension of that quality. Let me remind you of Sri Kant Yadav, who was once a railway porter and now is an IAS officer. He was able to achieve his dream with the hard work and through artificial intelligence when free Wi-Fi services were launched in the railway stations in 2016. I'm sure my opponents would have heard the saying, practice what you preach. Now, look around the boys sitting over here and look around you and your own wrists. Don't you see the presence of artificial intelligence in the form of smart watches? Are you ready to give that up? Now, after listening to all these examples, if my opponents still take a stand on believing that the development of artificial intelligence will harm mankind, you need to recheck your Google page. Let me remind you that artificial intelligence is an extension of the human intelligence. Then how can you say that a robot, not that normal teacher, will have a better answer to a student's doubt? My fellow opponents spoke a lot about cybercrime and misuse of artificial intelligence. You need to remember that the technology does not get to decide. Human beings make the technology and it is in their hands on how to control it. And sometimes it's better to change an opinion than to persist in a wrong one. Thank you. Thank you, Eamon, for stating your views. Next to take over the letter is F2. From Fortnite to PUBG bots, from Siri to Bixby, from Alexa to Cortana, from Sophia to Gia Gia, humans are completely dominated by AI. A pleasant morning to one and all. My buddy opponents told many uses of AI in airports, but what about the 
failures of autopilots. You claim that autopilots keep the sky safe? Well, the truth is that they keep the sky safe by dropping their planes to ground. In the past two years, autopilots have successfully crashed two airplanes to ground zero. Ethiopian Airline 302 crashed a few minutes before taking off, killing 157 people. Lion Air Flight 610 in Indonesia killed 189 passengers. And all the reasons were autopilot failure causing a straight nose dive, killing thousands. Moreover, more than half a dozen pilots complained about the consistent manufacturing of AI in autopilots. Another huge help for AI. Moving on. My party opponents tell us not to be confused between artificial intelligence and human intelligence. Truth is, there is nothing to be confused about. Human intelligence is real intelligence and artificial intelligence is just artificial from its name itself. Artificial intelligence. My worthy opponents, I am not questioning your facts. I am just straight up denying their existence. I would like to conclude by saying, roses are red, violets are blue. Today, I have been a victim of AI and tomorrow is going to be you. Thank you. Thank you, F2, for voicing your opinion. Now, I call upon A1 to take a stand. A2. A2 to put forth his ideas against the motion. Assalamualaikum once again. How can you deny the fact that AI has helped to speed up airport security by using new biometric system? Do you really want to get stuck and waste all your precious time? Don't you like wearing Apple Watch? Don't you like wearing VR gear? It is all artificial intelligence. Artificial intelligence is not only on Earth, but it is also in the outer space. Yes, it is. They always revolve around the Earth and provide us with various information daily. They don't only provide us with daily forecast, which automatically pops up on our phones because of AI, but they are the means of communication. Why are we able to communicate with people who live thousands of miles away from us? It is because of the satellites, which are artificial intelligence. Do you love cars? Don't you want to drive a car when you grow up? When we go to our driving school, they first will test our skills on driving simulators, which is all artificial intelligence, and then we go to a real car. Thank you, and have a nice day. Thank you, A2, for putting forth your viewpoint. Next in line is F3 to speak for the motion. Good morning once again. It is such a beautiful drama that my opponents are bringing. But too bad, this is a debate competition and not a storytelling. Every AI is developed to do something beneficial, but it develops a destructive way of achieving it. Imagine, an AI system is asked to eradicate cancer in the world. After a lot of computing, it spits out a formula that does in fact bring about the end of cancer by killing everyone. The computer achieved, would have achieved its goal of no more cancer very efficiently, but not the way humans intended it to be. By far the greatest danger of AI is that people conclude too early that they understand it. I visualize a time when we will be to robots or dogs are to humans. In the long run, AI and automation are going to take are going to be taking over so much of what gives humans a feeling of purpose. A powerful AI with goals that are not aligned with ours is more dangerous than any epidemic disease or terrorist groups. And sooner or later, the world will face mounting job losses. After all, it's the 21st century and not the 19th. To conclude, I would like to say that. AI is a genie in a bottle that can fulfill wishes, 
but with terrible and foreseen consequences. Thank you. Once again, a very good morning to one and all. We all are aware that volcanic diving has become a great profession now. My dear opponents, don't forget that AI is behind volcanic diving. Japan contributes a lead role in the invention of artificial intelligence. People of Japan have zero negative effect on them due to AI. My dear opponents, in fact, people of Japan are considered far more wiser than the people of the other countries. Then how can you argue that AI is harming the mankind? Pranjil Patil is our country's first visually challenged women IS officer. It would have been impossible for her to reach that position without the help of AI. If my opponents argue about gaming, don't forget, gaming has provided occupation to many people all around the world. From the above cases, you can see that AI is benefiting us in many ways. I would like to conclude by, you need to remember that technology doesn't get to decide. It is humans that get to decide. After all, human beings make the technology. Thank you. Thank you, AT. To keep up the spirit, here comes F4. Civilization is but a product of intelligence. 
is but a product of intelligence. So amplifying our human intelligence with artificial intelligence has the potential of helping civilization flourish like never before. So embrace artificial intelligence. Thank you. Thank you, Evo, for setting forth your views. Here is yet another participant, F5, to persuade the audience with his words. Assalamu alaikum once again. Couple of months ago, Sophia the Robot gave an interview to CNBC News, where she was asked what she would do to humans if AI surpasses them. She replied that she would most definitely destroy criminals. She is the perfect example of AI harming mankind and yet my worthy opponents deny it. But the truth is that AI is extremely harmful to mankind whether they accept it or deny it. Human workers retain less value in today's society. May I ask my worthy opponents, why is that so? Well, I'll tell you, it's because of artificial intelligence. I know that most of my opponents are on social platforms like Instagram, Facebook, etc. I'm sure they know that our every step is tracked and analyzed through AI and thus we're always in danger. Despite knowing this, them defending AI is highly ironic Instead of telling us, I think you should practice what you preach. Steve Jobs, the creator of Apple, when asked if he let his children use AI gadgets, his answer was a big fat no. He then himself added that AI gadgets could be exceedingly dangerous. Then if the creator of such gadgets has said this, then how can my worthy opponents deny it? Today, with the help of AI, Various sorts of bombs are being made throughout the world. Recently, there were massive bomb blasts in Sri Lanka, in near churches and in public places. Lastly, I'd like to say AI has been harmful and will be harmful forever. Thank you. Thank you, F5, for voicing your beliefs. Next, we have A5 to deliver his speech. Good afternoon to one and all. My dear audience, you are being fooled by my colleagues from the opposite side. Well, if artificial intelligence will harm mankind, then what do you think about Google Maps? If you don't want to rely so much on AI, then why is it that you turn to Google Maps to get the shortest route and time to your destination? If these were not still used, then where on earth are we gonna possible to find our respective destination within short time? Once well, Stephen Hawking said that artificial intelligence is the end of humanity. How come is that possible? Have you ever thought of AI in the sense of cancer and diagnosis matters? No. Decades of research and investments for fatal diseases like cancer and AIDS seem to have reached saturation with minimal outcomes. Scientists and technologists alike are seeing hope though, not through increased funding, through technological advancement in the form of AI. Have you ever thought that is it possible to perform the duties that are dangerous or unsuitable for human workers? No. Right now, I remember the words of Eliezer Yudovsky, an American AI researcher. He told that the AI does not hate you, nor does it love you, but you are made out of atoms which it can use for something else. Thank you and have a nice day. Thank you, A5, for, vo for, for voicing your sentiments. Now, I call upon F6 to assert his views on it. Artificial intelligence is a kind of a problem in mathematics. 
mathematics when posing question is easier than solving the problem. Reports say that by the next two to three decades, artificial intelligence is thought to replace 16 percent of the job, which is approximately 1.12 billion people of the population in the whole world. Currently, unemployment is one of the major causes around the world. The drastic increase in unemployment rate could lead millions of people starved to death. My fellow opponents were trying to say that artificial intelligence are the good in the hands of. Then, my friends, what happened to Ethiopian and Lion A Boeing 737 match, which was crashed recently? Were they in the hands of a wrong person? Well, no. They were not in the hands of a wrong person, but the AI autopilot refused to give the control of the plane to the pilots when it was stalling. By the crash, we can clearly understand how artificial intelligence can be. It can, it can cause a great, great, it can cause a great, it can cause a great, uh, it can cause a major cause and it can harm a great way, in a great way. The difference between my opponents and a knife is that at least the knife has a point. Thank you. Thank you, F6, for expressing your sentiments. Now we have A6 to advocate his sentiment. Good afternoon to one and all. My worthy opponent, if the development of artificial intelligence will harm mankind, then you shouldn't have used Google to make your script. Or find cause of famous personalities. Instead, instead, you should have made your own code and script. But that's impossible for them. You know why? Because if they can't even understand a simple thing, that is the value of artificial intelligence, then, oh, then how on earth would they be able to make their own code and script? Imagine if all of them just got aggressive. For sure, that's the end of human race. Man is not God, and he can never and ever be God. Thank you. 
Thank you, M7. That was truly fantastic. I call upon A7 to take a stand on the podium. The difference between my opponents and a knife is that a knife at least has a point. Assalamu alaikum and good afternoon once again. If you are going to your friend's house, will your friend dictate you the address or will he send you the location? Brother, we are living in the 21st century. And my friend said a Uber accident took place in California. Was that really a AI mistake or a human error? Get your facts straight. The reason why humans control the planet is because of our intelligence. Though we are wealthier and weaker than the white animals, despite we rule, we, uh, despite we rule the world because of our wit, there are numerous AIs like Alexa, Bixby, Siri, and many more that are currently being used in this world. Have they harmed the humanity yet? No, they haven't. Thank you. Come on audience, give a huge round of applause. Next to take over the lectern is F8. Good afternoon. If you look back a few years ago, there was no AI. Then how did the people survive? Yes, they survived and lived an amazing life without phones, computers, Tesla and Siri. My, my friends are trying to replace humans with AI robots. These guys are saying AI is not a harmful thing. It is just like closing your eyes by falling and saying you didn't fall. Dear opponents, it's not your problem that you are too lazy and you don't like to do things physically. These guys are forgetting that the person who gave you birth, who helped you grow and who cook you is your mom and not a stupid little device called mobile phone. Can you replace your mom with a stupid little device called a mobile phone? Can you? AI is, a help, is not a helping machine, but rather it's a killing machine. Thank you. Thank you, F8, for voicing your opinion. Next comes A8 to put forth his ideas. Assalamu alaikum once again. You know what? The best thing about AI and its plenty of technologies is that it is error free. Industries and organizations usually have to leave a significant room for human error because it is natural to see its presence in manual human labor, but AI is error free. Maybe my opponents still want to live in the dark age, but my dear friends don't pull us into it. People are looking for a better and bright future. You are talking about unemployment rate. Oh come on, have you ever calculated the unemployment rate? Oh sorry, I forgot, you people are anti-artificial intelligence. People are getting more job opportunities due to the development of artificial intelligence. Thank you. Thank you, AA, for your articulate judgment. Come on, audience, let's raise the atmosphere as here comes F9 armed with statistics.
but a very risky one. Very risky. If you don't use it wisely, you know what will happen. Let's come back to the present. What is the basic source of obtaining anything in this world? It's money. You need money. To get money, you need a decent job. But if AI comes and I, I don't think jobs are going to come as a wholesale service like we used to, just use your perception and visualize when technology entered the industrial world, it took over 5 million jobs. Imagine what would be the situation when artificial intelligence enters the economic situation of the world. AI is more complex and sophisticated. So just think how many jobs are going to be engulfed by AI. One more thing, AI can never be related to humans because they lack emotions. One that lacks emotions can be controlled. But mind me, we all learned how to be a student from our seniors. Similarly, artificial intelligence will learn to be more than humans from humans. Thank you. Finally, we have A9 to put an end to this war. Good afternoon once again. Looking at my opponents and substantial and abortive stand on their opinions, I am reminded of the, of the golden words of a famous British poet, Alfred Lord Tennyson, which very aptly identifies people like my opponents. Once in a golden hour, I cast to earth a seed. Up there came a flower, the people said, a weed. I would like to tell my opponents that for your kind information, that the mic in which you are speaking, this is also artificial intelligence. So my friends, it's not their fault. You'll find people like them with such negative perceptions everywhere in the world who can neither see glass half filled nor assist others in filling up the whole glass. They can never see AI as a flower, rather always a weed. If shrinking down commercial works to click a button, if hundreds of human required meaning, detailing fertility of few commands, if hours of lengthy calculations and forecasting reduced to mere seconds, if complex algorithms decreased to simple codes, if lessening hours of tedious tasks to the fingertips, if millions of operational costs reduced to mere amount does not impress or appease my opponents, then I'm sorry to say even a cup of tea will never make them grateful. Thank you. Assalamualaikum, I am Mayan Ahmed of class 92. 
Assalamu alaikum and good morning. Myself, Vibram Firasit from 95. With this, we fold our wall of words and we fold the round cushions. May I now invite our judge, Mr. Afroz Sir, onto the stage to share his views on the occasion. Rather than countering their arguments. And of course, 
the topic is as such, you know, uh, whether you got convinced properly or not. I'm not a person who can go deep into the, the topic and whether those who spoke against the motion and for the motions are good or the comment is good. I'm not a person to judge it, but what I can say, artificial intelligence, AI, is now inevitable. We cannot spare it. We cannot leave it. Only thing, it should be used in such a way that it is not harming any individual, not only human beings. It all depends on in whose hand it comes. A dog, a dog if it is trained by a police, its utility will be different. And if it is trained by a thief or a rover, its utility will be different. A knife that is made by a blacksmith, if a rover is using to stab, we cannot blame the blacksmith for making that knife. Am I right? Same thing goes with uh, AI too. It all depends on how especially you people use it. Because we are at the verge of extinction in one way. You are the people who are going to rule the world tomorrow. And you are the people who are enjoying the merits of all this AI and you are the people who are going to suffer because of this demerits of AI. So how to use it and where to use it, when to use it, this is your choice. Definitely you don't have to worry about that uh, because of AI jobs will not be there or people will become unemployed. That I don't think because in the past too, so many comments came like that but every time human beings will have an upper edge, an advantage. What I always think and request you people, whenever you do something, whenever you make something, keep a human touch in that. If you keep a human touch, any device, if you device or design, that will not go threat to humankind or any other creature in this world. Remember, not only human beings, all other creatures are having equal value, equal importance and equal status in this world. As we say, an ecosystem will be incomplete without other organisms because there is always a, a cycle. To make a balance, you might have seen that we need the existence of all individuals. So artificial intelligence can be utilized, as we said, to supplement and to support our life, not to replace the human beings and human thought. So let us try, put your effort to have a human thought and human value in this AI so that both human beings and other organisms will prosper. Thank you and once again congratulations to everyone and before announcing the result, all the best to everyone. Thank you. Thank you sir for your motivation reports. After the much heated arguments is the most awaited time. Time to know the results of today's debate. So I request the headmaster of sir to announce the result and give away the prizes. That means great nine students. The best third speaker he is equaled 96.5 marks out of 120 and is none other than A8 I am of 92. Second best speaker, he scored 97 out of 120, difference of half point. He is A4 Mohsin from 91. And the best speaker for against the motion secured 101 points. 
none other than A3 Dinesh Kumar from Nine. Next, best speakers, all motion. Third best speaker, secure 91.5 marks out of 120 and is F5, Muhammad Abdullah from 10 to 5. Second best speaker, secure 94 points and is none other than F7, Muhammad Ibrahim of 10 to 5. Secure 103 points. F9. Thank you.